Okay, hello and welcome back to question of the day. All right. <laughs> Today's question is by Angela, who is Christian Home School Mom 2-3. Um, her question is, would you ever take a train to come see me? is asking me this question because she knows I have said before that I will not fly and I will not get in a ship in the water and I have also said I will not get on a plane on a train and ride it sorry Angela I would love to come meet you in person for sure but not by train that is just another one of those scary things to me a plane is up in the sky I hear so much about planes crashing, and I don't like it, and I don't want to die. Boats can sink in the water. I don't know how to swim. I don't like it. I don't want to die. I've heard so much about it. I've heard so much about trains crashing, too. Now, I would not mind the train so much if, but there's that if word, if only. You know how a lot of the tracks is actually on a road, you know, and has ground and grass right there at it and beside it. It could still derail and crash and get off the track and, and wreck and that would be bad. But I wouldn't mind it so much if it was that away and if they went very slow on the track. Because I have been on a train before. You know how you go on vacation and you go to these different kinds of theme parks? And I'm not talking about, yes, I've been on these little zoo trains, you know. And in the parks that you go to, like Dolly, uh, what was the name of that park in Tennessee we always went to? Dolly something, Dolly Pardon owns it. Dollywood. The train there, I've rode it. It's a little old bitty kid train almost. And they go slow around. You're, they're showing you it's a tour. I don't mind that. Um, we have been to a place. I do not remember where this was. I have to ask Albert. But it was a place where they had a train. And it was, it was a real train. Like back in the day type train. Not the modern trains that people can ride on nowadays. But I mean an older train back in the day how it used to be when people would ride the trains from place to place. And we got on it and we rode down the track and it was some type of a tour thing. I cannot remember what it was, where it was about. Um, I don't even remember what I seen. But what I do remember is we rode the train and when we got to a certain pot, spot, we stopped. We got off the train. It wasn't a place. It wasn't nowhere. Like, it wasn't a place for us to eat. It wasn't a place for us to go in and look and tour or whatever. It was still, you know, woods and trees beside us. But it was kind of like a, a bigger kind of clearing area around us, around the train. We all got out, and they told us to take a penny and put it on the track. Lay it on the track. And we did. And then they backed the train up over the penny and back off of it and squished it and we got our penny back you know just a fun little thing like that to do and then we got back on the train and we went back to where we started at but they drove really slow okay so I did not mind that so if all trains and all the places the routes they have to take to go was just track on ground or road. And if they drove really, really slow, then I might would ride that train. I do not like the fact they go fast. It's a little bitty thin wheels on a track and yeah, I don't like that, that scares me. I don't like the idea that sometimes the track is a bridge way up high off of the ground and over water yeah no thank you so 
I'm sorry, Angel, my answer is no. It has to be a car with wheels on the road. And I know, y'all, I have been in many wrecks in a car in my lifetime. Don't like them. Scare me to death. Don't want to ever be in another one again. But I know they can't be helped. But I know that is the only travel way that I have left of getting anywhere unless I walk. And I certainly can't do that. So I feel safer with it being a car. It's on the road. It's on the ground. I'm even, I've not said this to Albert, but I am even nervous when we go over a bridge that's over water, a very long bridge. Like when I have to go to Chalmette to the doctor over there, there's a bridge going across that water. Guess what I'm doing the whole time we're going across that bridge? I'm praying. Because, <laughs> I mean, that bridge could go, and I would go, and I would die. I would go, I don't want to do that. Because I don't know how to swim. That's my daddy's fault. He scared me in the water. Anyway, so, um... So yeah, I'm even nervous about that and don't like it. And if I could get away with it, I would never do that. But I pray the whole time we're going across those bridges. So there you go. That's how bad it is. I'm sorry, Angela. The answer is no. And there they are. So I gotta hurry up with my videos. They're bringing me lunch. So, um, uh, uh. Angela, I hope you liked your answer to your question. Everybody else, I hope you liked the question and the answer. Everybody else, please send me. I got some more questions, though, from one person. She sent me a bunch of questions. But I wrote them down, and I'm going to answer all of them, and I love them. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> so, all right. This is delicious. You done ate it? I ate mine, but oh, my God. So what you got me, you ate, and it was delicious? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I got the Stella. It's called Stella? It's called Stella, but it had the rice with the sauce over it with the fried catfish. Oh my. Oh God. Lord. Well, y'all weren't gone. Y'all must have gobbled it then. No, they, it, it was, it was. Y'all didn't stay very long. Oh, fast. Fast. Good. Oh, no, they fast. Okay, anyway, I'm through. I'm out of here until next time I'm done. I'm going to look.